Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex. All right, let's see what the Terrier is serving up with this history on a platter. Looks like it's the class of 1914. This yearbook is dedicated to Principal Robinson. Two other teachers are mentioned. One is an English teacher named Miss Johnny Rutland, and another is a science teacher named Frank Wetzel. We will also see in the newspapers a recurring motif that the high school is crowded and students are hoping for a new building. The state football championship came down to the Turkey Day game between HHS and old rival Duval High. Naturally, HHS won. Football was a nasty sport at this time. Decades later, some would recall that the Duval players were actually biting the Terrier players. One of the speakers at HHS was Charles Cottingham, a civil engineer who spoke about the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal would open in August 1914. In January, students were excited to learn about the first scheduled airline in the world. Established by Tony Janus, it flew between St. Petersburg and Tampa. The basketball team won the city championship and would go on to defeat Duval High for the state championship. The rivalry between the Hillsborough Terriers and the Duval Tigers would continue. The school board this year also purchased uniforms for the baseball team from Knight and Wall. The class play this year was the Taming of the Shrew. Ed, the original school merchant, was as popular as ever. And when asked who invented the gasoline engine, he replied, Gasparella. In April, students were concerned as it appeared that the United States and Mexico might be going to war. Thankfully, war was averted. Now, this yearbook is the third annual produced by Hillsborough High School in its history, but it is the first one to bear the name Hillsborian. At the time, they hoped the name would stick, and obviously it has. Just for clarification, Hillsborian with one L refers to the yearbook, and with two Ls refers to a student of Hillsborough High School. The yearbook could be bought with a paper cover for $1, or like I chose, you could spend $2.50 and get a leather cover. In May, it was time for the class of 1914 to bid goodbye to HHS. This was the largest class to have ever graduated from any of the state high schools in Florida history. Mm -hmm. 
On commencement day, the casino at the Tampa Bay Hotel was packed with well-wishers. Governor Park Trammell even showed up to give the commencement address. All right, my friends, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with all my HHS videos. Go Big Red!